Hi there, Paul Bineski here for the Capital Event Video Diary. Uh, this week I want to talk to you a little bit about L-Day and some of the things that go on at L-Day. Uh, and the reason I want to is because I was reminded last week of the importance of some of our legislative issues that we have every year. Uh, and I was reminded by a letter to the editor to my local paper, the Syracuse Post Standard, uh, from the president of the New York State Trial Lawyers Association. Uh, and the letter was regarding scaffold, the scaffold law in New York State. Uh, so if you'll permit me my spectacles, uh, let me read you a couple of uh, highlights from the letter from the Trial Association, uh, Trial Lawyers Association to the Post Standard regarding the scaffold law. The law is based on a fair and simple premise that those who supervise and control a construction site are best able to monitor and ensure its safety. The scaffold law is clear. The only contractors and developers who can be found liable are those who ignore the critical safety rules that are proven to prevent construction injuries and death. So that was the letter defending the scaffold law from the president of the Trial Lawyers Association. And let me tell you what I think of this letter and how I think a lot of you feel. So let's get rid of that. Uh, as you know, and as all of us know, in New York State, the scaffold law actually imposes an absolute liability. Uh, and it's a major problem for IABNY members and for their clients. And so this is one of the many issues that we fight for uh, at L-Day up in Albany. And I want to encourage you, if you've ever come across this issue uh, where you've had a client that has run into problems with the scaffold law, come to Albany. Come tell your senators and the members of the assembly uh, the problems that we have with this law, that we need to have a different standard of negligence uh, on the part of the worker. If the worker is clearly negligent, this absolute liability, though, still imposes the burden on your client, the contractor or the developer. So that's one issue that we have. How about this for an issue? Like many members, I am getting involved in social media, and a lot of you folks are on social media. Maybe I'll use my phone uh, when we're up at the Capitol event to tweet something out to IABNY members. And you may use Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn to get your message out to your clients and your prospective clients. Well, under New York State law, those are considered advertisements. And you have to comply then with an outdated advertising law that says in every advertisement in which you mention an insurance company, you have to keep, uh, you have to mention the insurer's full name and the city where they have their principal office. And so as you can imagine on Twitter where you're limited to 140 characters, that this is not practical. This is an outdated law and we need to get it updated. How about this? If you're on Long Island or have clients on Long Island that have trouble with uh, you know, getting affordable homeowners insurance, you know, that's something that we fight for at L-Day, uh, reforms to the coastal markets. Another thing that we're fighting for this year is to preserve the role of the independent agent in New York State's health care exchange under uh, the new health care laws. Every state is obligated to set up these exchanges. And if we don't, then the federal government's going to come in and set one up for us. And so it's critical that as both uh, producers that sell health insurance, uh, as many of our members do, but even as consumers that need to purchase health insurance, that we recognize the important role that independent agents and brokers play in the health insurance market. And we need to be in Albany. We need to be telling our senators and our members of the assembly that we need to be protected. We need to be included in this health care exchange uh, as advocates for clients um, and advocates for the public when it comes to making decisions about health insurance and being there as a resource to help people procure health insurance. These are just many of the issues that we have. What I want you to do is go online, www.iabney.org slash advocacy, and you're going to see the 2012 position paper. Spend a few minutes going through the position paper, and you'll see that there's so much that impacts you, that impacts your employees, that impacts your clients, that you really have a responsibility to go to Albany and make sure that you're fighting for these issues because we can't do it alone. Yeah, the impact that we have in Albany is terrific. We've got a great and a strong 
uh, political action committee. We have one of the best legislative teams in Albany with Michael Barrett and Jill Miratori and Peter Carr, but they can't do it alone. At the end of the day, what these senators and what these members of the assembly respond to is seeing their constituents and hearing from their constituents. So we need you in Albany. Now, the Capitol event is January 30th and 31st. If you can't make it for the whole thing, make sure you come on Tuesday, January 31st for L Day. Uh, we really could use your help, your support, and hopefully we'll get some of these issues resolved uh, to your own benefit. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you back here next week.